All right, uh, I'm gonna uh, finish the disassembly process of this engine. In this video, uh, I'm gonna pull the uh, main bearing caps. Uh, I'm gonna pull the crank and flywheels as an assembly, um, just cause uh, you know they're, they look like they're pretty well set on there. I don't see any reason to take them off. They both run true. The crank's not bent. So we'll pull them off as an assembly. I've already uh, I've made my own timing marks um, on the crank timing gear and the cam gear, so I know how they go back together. Pull that off, and I'll pull the push rod out and the bracket that holds the latch out finger. Pull that all apart, and uh, if I can. I will pull the uh, governor assembly out. Um, I don't remember quite how they go on. I believe that this gear is threaded onto the main shaft here. Although I'm not sure because I see there's a hole drilled there. So there might be a, a roll pin in there. So I'll, I'll have to check that out as I go along. But, uh, but yeah, I'll start with pulling the, uh, the main bearing caps off. There's the uh, pulley side uh, bearing. That looks in good shape. It's not cracked. Be able to reuse that with no problems. These nuts are also inch and a sixteenth. Like the bearing shell stayed behind on that one. Again, looks like that's in good shape. Still plenty of uh, meat left on that one, not cracked. See how, how easy these wheels come out of here. Sure, spin nice. I 
And I'll go ahead and pull these wheels out, set them on the ground. Alright, I'll show you uh, my timing marks. Uh, you can see one is it right there. And I kind of, I tried to to uh, color color that with a sharpie marker, but didn't come out very well on the uh, on the rust. <laughs> now you can see that originally there's a a casting here, this little arrow, but uh, I've never been able to find out, you know, a distinguishing point on the crank gear that that locates to. So at the, you know, whenever I made those marks, this tooth just happened to be lining up with the tooth on the crank gear, so that's where I made them. And the crank gear marks, uh, I can't find them, they're on there somewhere. Anyway, so we'll pull the uh, cam gear out real quick. That's not even really held in there. It's easy as that. I don't, uh, I don't think having this big square head bolt is original. Everything that I've worked on has had a pin and you put a cotter pin uh, out in the front of the gear holding it onto the shaft. Um, it just doesn't seem right. I think it's homemade. It's just a lot of play. So, you have to have that board out and sleeved and a new pin made. That'll be easy enough to do. I can do all that myself. Get a close up look at the governor and the uh, latch out finger. The latch out finger is just held on with a pin right here. Goes up to the top. And the push rod is held on with a cover plate with these two screws. Hold on. So I'll pull that off. All right. Well, I forgot to show you the uh, the other half of the main bearings. In good shape. Not cracked. It's good. See, there are plenty of shims in there. So that means uh, they weren't very worn. If I need to, I can always take shims out. No problem. So, uh, finish this up. Looks like uh, we'll drive the pin out here. It holds the uh, latch out mechanism on. And uh, pull the rocker. I have the rocker on the push rod off. And uh, she'll be bare. Stripped down bare. Um, I don't think I'm going to take the governor off. I looked at it closely. Flashlight. There, that's a uh, actually a set screw there, a, a slot head set, set screw. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that out of there. So uh, I think I'll just be leaving that alone. There's a little play in it, but uh, again, I'm not really worried. It doesn't doesn't carry any load. And uh, if I keep it greased, it won't make any chatter or any noise. So, uh, that'll be alright. Another thing I noticed is uh, the spring in the governor is pretty tense. So, I'm pretty sure this engine was uh, was running flat out the last time it was ran. You know, uh, whatever the last time it was in service, it was running flat out. Because that is a tense governor spring. So uh, we'll go ahead and pull that apart.
spring. Now what I noticed when I uh, took that pin out for the governor, that, uh, where's that? that pin looks like a uh, valve stem. It's definitely uh, uh, hard steel and it's got the two uh, notches cut in it for the keeper. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> Somebody's been into this engine a few times it appears. So now I'll just pull those two screws out that hold the uh, governor governor bracket and hold the push rod on. That's it. Here's the push rod here. A little cam follower wheel. Got a little bit of play in it. But the uh, the rod doesn't have any major wear. So that's good. And the governor bracket. See the rod rides in this uh, this slot here. So that's that. And uh, there's two dowel pins to uh, keep it lined up. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pull these bearings out, and uh, it's down to uh, down to the bare block now. That's why I like these engines. They're so simple. But they last forever. So, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the pitting yet, but, uh, you know, I'll put it back together and if it makes good compression, I'm not going to worry about it. That's it. Um, next video, I'll have it, uh, I'll have it cleaned up a little bit. There's some, some grease and gunk all over the whole thing. I'll power wash it and, uh decide if I want to paint it, paint it or not. I'll wire brush it and see what it looks like. You can see that's about all the paint that's left right there below the cylinder. Some blue paint. That's it. And uh, yeah, then the next videos it'll be uh, all about cleaning the bits and pieces, cleaning the piston up, the rod, cleaning the head, doing the valves, all that work comes next. So uh, that's it. Keep watching.